Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. You know it's that time when I'm here out on the fitness floor shaking and baking and we got something special for you today. So would you believe me if I said you could have an effective total body workout by just using a dinner plate? Not only will it improve your grip, but you'll build core stability and work on your entire mobility in the process. And this morning, we're joined by athlete, entrepreneur, local obstacle course champion, and our Tropica Island of Treasure contestant, Trevor Log. Away you in the building, my man. Are you there? Are you live? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Rob. Can you hear me, buddy? I can hear you loud and clear. How are you doing this morning, Trevor? And more importantly, how are you surviving lockdown? Oh man, I'm good, thank you. Um, you know, I had the time to load it, but like everything in life, do it's seasonal. We just got to wait out the season. You know, summer does come after winter. There is joy that will come after this, so we've got to look for the positives and just do our best, and we'll make it through this together. I feel you, yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Now, obviously, Trevor, for everybody at home, you're becoming quite a familiar face on our screens. You're the Tropica Island of Treasure family member competing on the show. How's it been thus far? Apart from, obviously, what I'm seeing every week, you guys are just winning all your challenges. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been an awesome experience, I agree. I've really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, something different, I must say. It's not something I've done before, but um, it's been one hell of a ride, and I'm loving every moment of it. It's so good seeing you. Obviously, Trevor, you and I worked way back when. I think we were still designing your gym a couple of years ago and we linked up and you created something incredible. Actually, wow, wow, wow. Hold on a second, Bruce. Yes. You know the first time I met you? When was that? You were, about, you were about 18 years old and you walked into my lecture room, stopped the lecturer from giving the class and brought in a life-size teddy that you gave your <laughs> that was sitting next to me. <laughs> Oh, man, that's what I've got. I remember that. I remember that very specifically. Yo, nice uh, nostalgia <laughs> moment there. <laughs> Yo, it's been a while, actually, Trev. And it's so incredible to see how far you've come. It's so, so cool. But let's get down to business. You've got an incredible challenge, I believe, for us. I know you're going to put me through my paces, as always. The big rig is in town, and we're using plates for you guys at home. Grab your dinner plates. It's the dinner plate mate challenge. This one's from Trev. So, where are we starting? What's the first exercise? Okay, so as you can see on my left here, I've got my uh, my dinner from last night uh, right. and my my cup of water. Remember, always keep your water intake high. So we'll leave the vegetables to one side for this one, Brew. But for you and for me, we'll use the cup full of water. So All make right. sure your cup is full of water. And um, for everyone at home, you guys can just use your dinner plate. If you want to test yourself, put a cup of water on top. But let's get going. Okay, I'm with you. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. I hope I don't break anything in the studio. So uh, I got my plate, I've got my uh, cup. Uh, what do we do next? You are ready, okay. So yeah. the cup goes on top. I'm gonna take a seat on the ground. Oh. Okay, onto your back. Okay. Cup on top of the plate. Jeez, this is really... Okay. okay. All the way up to the sky. Feet. Your leg bent. Yeah, I got my left leg bent, left hands in the air. What's next? Left hands in the air, left leg in the air. Okay, we're going to sit up on Josh's elbow. <laughs> so if you guys are home, this is a lot harder than it looks. I'm already trying to balance this plate. Okay, next up, Jeff, what's the next move? Yeah, down to your hand. Onto my hand, okay. Okay, then you're going to lift your hips up high. Yeah, I'm with you. You're going to bring your right leg underneath you. <sighs> Then you're gonna come up straight from there, bro. <laughs> okay. Yes! From there, you're gonna stand, stand up straight. <laughs> I'm loving this one. It's a Turkish get up, I believe, Trev. We normally do this with a kettlebell. I'm feeling incredible stimulation in my shoulders just to try um, keep this plate from not falling yeah, over. Straight back down, buddy. Straight back down, Ooh. okay? My cup is going on down. Oh, I think I'm Bring the legs through. Down into your bum, drop the elbow, and back onto your back. Wow. I'm sure you can see the concentration in my face if you guys are watching my screen. That was a lot harder than it seemed. Wow, I love the way you're stimulating that, uh, that scapular region, especially upper body, torso, everything's got to come into play. And of course, mobility at the same time. Brilliant, brilliant exercise, no, exactly, Jeff. Exactly, that, that is an absolutely brilliant exercise. Um, the Turkish boys, the wrestlers, used to do that to test their strength against each other. Not, not physically one-on-one, -on -one, but they'd each do a Turkish get-up with a heavier weight and move through it. So, it's a fundamentally brilliant exercise, works the whole body, as you said. 
Um, and you want to do maybe five reps on each arm and do about three sets of that. So, yeah, it's a great one. All right, brilliant. Turkish get ups, you guys at home. Five sets or five reps on each side, that makes 10 in total. We're moving over to exercise number two. What is after the Turkish get ups, Trev? We're still keeping our plate here. Okay, number two, we're going to keep it a lot more simple. We're going to push back in our, in our heels into our squat position. Okay, I'm with you, joining you on the squat. I remember we were making okay, sure okay. our knees don't go over the toes. Nice straight upper yeah. body, is that correct? Yeah, chest nice and high. Facing forward, plate you're going to extend out in front of you. Okay. Almost like a steering okay, wheel of the car. Exactly. We're going to okay. go left and right, 10 reps. As soon as you've completed your 10 reps, you're going to touch your bum as low as you can, stand up straight, and back down into that half squat position. All right, so okay, I've just we'll finished my 10. 10 reps. Okay. And then after 10, we go down for a squat, and then... Straight back up. Woo. Feeling that burn already. Okay, is that one rep, Trev? That's one rep. So 10, 10 rotations with the squat down and squat up is one rep. And you do times 10 of those, Bruce. That's going to really nail those legs. I'm already the feeling shoulder. the burn. You guys at home, obviously, we're turning the wheel 10 times. Then we go low into our squat. And then we're squeezing those glutes and coming straight back up. You're going to feel an incredible burn Ooh, in those glutes, a little bit in the quads too as well. And opening up the hips once again, which I love. That's always going to help everybody sitting on the couch, sitting at home, getting locked up and tight. What are we going over to? Number three. Exercise number three. What do you have for us? Number three, bro. We're going to be doing so this one. This one, you can put your food back on your plate. Let's test. Right, test I don't have food with me. Buddy. So I'm just going to go with the plate for now. Unfortunately, I don't have any food. Uh, Clem is still busy in the kitchen, obviously. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be in a V-up position. So okay. on your bum, legs out in front of you. You can bend them. If you've got the core strength, straighten them out. All right. Okay. Then you're going to take your plate and you're going to weave it underneath your, your legs. Okay, like a little a needle through, a, through the aisle. Whew. Exactly, like a figure of eight. So you're going to work through a figure of eight position or motion as you're going up and down. Yo, this really gets the core working, it's the hip flexors working. Yo, I and love the feeling here. How are you doing? Trev, I can feel the lower half of my abs, those Levi lines, those, the, the part of the muscles that are really difficult to get. I'm feeling a proper burn, and especially on the upper part of the leg. I'm sure that's called the hip flexor, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, I'm feeling it, my boy. Oh. Yeah, let's go to number four, right? Okay, last exercise, you guys at home, obviously. Ten reps in total. I'm sure you're going to hit four rounds of that. This is exercise number three that we just finished. We're going to our last move of the day. I'm sure Trevor's got something special planned for us. What is the last exercise you got for us, man? Okay, so the last one, although I know a lot of us are a bit limited with space, so you might have to go into kind of a park position, but I'll show you both options. Okay. And you're going to do what's called a plank. And then you're going to extend your arm out and touch your dinner plate as if you want more. You know, need <laughs> okay. more, buddy. I need more. <laughs> All right, I got my dinner plate out in front of me. I'm getting into my plank position. <clears throat> Core's nice and tight. It's engaged. As always, low back is straight. Using my core. What's next? Ready to roll. So you're going to touch it. You're going to touch your plate ten times. Once you've done ten touches, you're going to shimmy to the side, and you're going to do the same. <sighs> Ooh, okay, I feel you there. That wasn't as easy as I thought. Ten and touches. You're keep shimmying to the side until you've gone all the way around your dinner plate. Ooh. Keep touching it ten times before you move every time. Okay. You can make it all the way around your dinner plate. If you're struggling with space, you can then go up high in this position. You're going to drop down onto your elbow, touch your dinner plate, and then you're going to come back up and shimmy close to your plate. Okay, so you're working closely around your plate as much as possible. If you really don't have space, then just stay behind your plate. Stay down, touch it for 10. Come up onto your arms, go back down, touch it for 10. Oh, Do that 10 times. Jeff, absolutely stunning exercise, beautiful stimulation. Beautiful work on the stabilizers of our muscles as well. And obviously the core is in 
pure overdrive. That's Trevor's dinner plate mate training exercise. All you need is a plate at home, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. There we go. Hope you are enjoying all these incredible equipment hacks. And obviously, make sure you check out Trevor's show. He's on Island Tropic of Treasure. He's still competing for that million rand. So good luck, brother. Thank you so much for the workout. And we'll see you guys after the ad break. Woo!